Hey everyone, so I just finished tramming my newest CNC. Um, it did a five hour car ride from LA back up to the Bay Area. And um, so it wasn't perfect when it got here. So I had to make some tweaks. Um, and I wanna walk you through the process of how I did that. Um, first, you gotta take something that's super straight, super flat. Um, so here I have this two inch piece of hard maple. Um, and as you can see, it is super flat. Um, and then after that, once you got the first thing, you get it in the center of your spoil board. And you set up your calipers and this uh, spindle or uh, router, whatever you got. And as you can see here, I'll zoom in for you. goes to 10 and I'm like one thousandths of an inch off. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pop this up and take it out of whack so I can show you what I did. So on the sides of the CNC, or sorry, on the side of the Z axis, um, I'll take you around here, we have these screws that hold in this axis to this axis. But otherwise it'll be rather hard. Okay, you can do the same for the other side. So the hardest thing about this is not actually touching the spoil board while you're making your adjustments. Um, the second that you press on the spoil board it'll throw everything off. So it's a little bit easier when you have the smaller machines, but this four by four is really tough to get these measurements right. That should be enough. So what I'll do is I'll come back down and I'll show you, I'll knock it out of whack. Okay, there you can see it's already out of whack, right? So the the left side um, is already down. Uh, it looks like six one thousandths of an inch. So I'll come over here and I'll just tap. I'm trying to get it to knock over a little bit. And this is where you play with it. I want it to get nice and close. Okay. Well, this is uh, not playing nice. But you can see if I move it over, I can get it to zero out. And so what I want to do um, is I want to get to a spot where they're both zeroed out. Just a little bit here on each side. Now I'll bring it down to see how close we are. Smaller increments. That looks like the right side is a little lower, but by how much? All right, so we're like two one thousandths or so. Three, it looks like. One, two, three. One, two. And I'll just adjust it back the slightest bit. Let me just loosen this up in here. And let it naturally go back. And 
You really just gotta play with it at this point. It could take you, you know, five minutes. Or it could take you like half an hour. And it's a little bit easier to do when there's weight on it. So you can match it. So I'll take it to 10. So 10 and five, so I'm like five one thousandths of an inch off. All right, so this side, it's, it's tilting down this way. So I need to bring it this way. Getting closer. And all I did was just loosen the nuts, with the bolts. All right, that is pretty good. So now I'm going to tighten everything as best as I can. Remember, this step is really important not to lean on spoil board or it really hit anything hit the gauges you just want to make some nice tweaks and you don't have to get it super tight you just need it to stay we'll just get bring every everything that you can touch like some of this you might have to move your your uh your router up and down to actually tighten you get to every one that you can just make snug See how, how bad it is. So I did hit it. Go up. Um, yeah, see, so we're three one thousandths of an uh, inch off. So I'll go back down to, to ten. on 10. I'm gonna try on this side, tightening some stuff up here. Let's double check. Yeah, move it a little bit. Oh, how frustrating is that? It's because the camera's on. <laughs> I had better luck uh, dialing it in before I turned on the camera. Did it. <laughs> All right, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, that was tough. But, you know, when you're dealing with thousandths of an inch, it, uh, any little uh, movement will uh, play a factor. So here we go. Um, here we are tramming the fore and aft part of the CNC. And this is where it gets tricky. Um, 
especially as you can see with my, uh, my setup right here. Uh, I bought it this way. I, I have two three quarter M MDF and then the straightest, flattest thing that I have in my garage is this two inch piece of maple. So, um, obviously I can't get enough clearance to get the, um, tramming tool perfectly fore and aft. So I'll have to try it and uh, get, get as close as possible, which is the angle that you see. Um, so anyway, with this, some tools that you're gonna need, um, you have your calipers, uh, some shims, and then I have a Dremel tool to cut the shims. Um, so what I'll do is figure out, um, when I come down, I'll use these two gauges and I'll figure out how much it's off and then I'll use the calipers to uh, find the correct thickness of the shim. And once I have the right thickness, um, I will cut them off and then I'll loosen the bolts on each side of the, um, the router and bring it out just a little bit, put the shims on the bottom because um, I know that it, right now the top is leaning forward that is a lot. Forty eight hundredths. Um, that is that is quite a bit. So one thing we can do is we could also spin it around, check the other way, and take the average of the two. Maybe 52 hundredths. And right, here's a quick shot underneath. And we are looking at like three and an eighth. So that's where I'll cut it up. All right, so I'm gonna do these four screws and uh, try to pry it away. I don't wanna loosen the top four if I can help it. Uh, that way I don't throw out my tram from left to right. Um, so yeah, we'll give it a shot. that didn't work. So I'm gonna do the next highest set. Alright, we got some movement. Okay, I'm gonna sense these two down. Nice and tight, and then I'll just do everything else snug. I really don't want to double my work if this isn't perfect, but I also don't want it to move. I'm going to start putting pressure on the spindle. So it's almost another shin out still. Right. 
Alright, so admittedly this took way more shims than what I thought. Um, and I went back and forth a couple of times. But um, I am right about two and a half, one thousandths of an inch out. And that's about as close as I'm going to get uh, without ordering more shims. And I'm satisfied with that for right now. I'll switch it around and check the other way. And hopefully it's basically the same. The next step will actually be checking tram uh, left to right. And that's even better. So I'm definitely happy with that. Now let's check left to right. All right, another three thousandths of an inch. So um, I'm just gonna leave it like that for the um, about two hours that I've put into this. I will call that good enough.